What's going on, guys? Platter McCards in the house, and Crow fans and Blackwing fans, you should be really, really excited because there is new Blackwing support that has been announced. So, without further ado, let's take a look at these cards, guys. Now, before we get started, actually, let me... Um, I have two or three friends that used to run Blackwings back in the day. I have like a half-assembled Blackwing deck, but I never put it together because it always felt like it was the exact same as the ones the other two were running. However, this changes things. This changes things big time. All right, so this thing's effect is, or this card's name is Blackwing Vada the Knave. So it's a level two dark wing tuner effect monster with 800 attack and zero defense. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Interesting. If you control a Blackwing monster other than Blackwing Vada the Knave, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's pretty good. Most black wings I know um, have that have a similar effect to if you control another black wing, then you can special summon it. So that's pretty good. Um, secondly, during your main phase, you can send this card on the field and one more black wing uh, non-tuners from your deck to the graveyard, whose levels uh, whose levels exactly equal eight. And if you do special summon one black wing dragon from your extra deck, you also cannot special summon black wing, uh, monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except dark monsters. Interesting. So you can immediately search and summon Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck just by having this on the field. That's pretty good, guys. I think that's pretty good. Uh, however, it doesn't count as a Synchro Summon, but I don't think that should really matter. That's pretty decent, though. I would definitely run this in my deck. Next, we got Blackwing Shamal the Sandstorm. Level 4 Darkwing Beast Tuner Effect Monster. 1600 attack, 0 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Plus, place one Black Feather Whirlwind from your deck uh, face up in your spell and strap zone. Interesting. So, Black Feather Whirlwind. I'm assuming this is a new card because Black Whirlwind is the card that I'm familiar with. Um, place it with, from your spell and trap zone. So... That's pretty. That's pretty decent. Uh, assuming how, assuming, uh, assuming what kind of effect this card has, it has the potential to be really, really good as a searcher. So I think that's pretty decent. Um, if a Blackwing Synchro Monster or Monsters and or Blackwing Dragon is special summoned to your field while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, target one Blackwing Monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, then take 700 damage. So if I'm using this thing's effect. Um, I dump this thing plus one from my deck in order to special summon uh, Blackwing, uh, Blackwing Dragon. And then after that, uh, I use this thing's effect. Uh, discard it from my hand, add one Black for the Whirlwind, some play the Black for the Whirlwind, I'm assuming is a spell card based on the name. Um, and then after that, you can use this thing's effect, target one Blackwing monster and give it to your hand. So it's, just, it's pretty decent. I like that. So next we got Blackwing Chinook the Snow Strike, level two Dark Wing Beast Effect Monster, hundred attack, seven hundred defense. You can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn. Interesting. This you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Target one face up monster your opponent controls. Send one Blackwing Synchro Monster or one Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do until the end of this turn, the targeted monster loses seven hundred attack. Also, its effects are negated. This is a quick effect if you control a Dark Synchro Monster. This has very, very good potential as a hand trap in this archetype. I'm not even going to lie. But the fact that you have to dump one from your extra deck might be something to consider. Maybe only running one or maybe two of these. But it just depends on if uh, dumping something in the extra deck from the extra deck to the graveyard actually has like a positive effect for this archetype. However, I notice a lot of the time Blackwing Dragon is mentioned on these new cards. So interesting. That's just something we'll have to look forward to. Um, next, we got Black Blackwing. Don't know how to pronounce that. The Illusory Spark. It's a level 4 Dark Wing Beast Effect Monster, 1400 attack, 1400 defense. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card is normal summon, you can add one card that mentions Black Wing Dragon from your deck to your hand, except Black Wing so 3 the Illusory Spark. I'm assuming I pronounced that correctly. If not, oh well. Um, so you can essentially add any of these cards from your hand. You can add this card to your hand. Uh, use this effect in order to immediately uh, place Black for the Whirlwind. You can use this thing's effect as a quick effect, or you can use this thing because you control a Black Wing Special Summon and then immediately go into a Black Wing Dragon, which is pretty dope as well. So you have options with this card, which is super dope. Secondly, you contribute one monster. You cannot Special Summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Synchro Monsters. You can also all Special Summon one Illusory Spark Token, Wing Beast Tuner, Dark Level 2, Attack 700, a Defense 700, then take 700 damage. That's not bad. So let's say I only have two like normal monsters on the field. Then I contribute one of my monsters, get a tuner out, 
and now technically I have the ability to make a level six synchro. So not bad. It at least makes it so the deck is less dead and uh, dead at least. So that's pretty good. Blackwing Zonda the Timely Knight, a level six dark wing beast effect. Mod. Interesting. So if you guys remember this effect earlier. Um, during your main phase, you can send this on the field and one Blackwing non-tuners from your deck to the grave whose levels exactly equal 8. So this is 2. And then this thing is a 6. So you can dump this right in the grave. So you can only use the the first one of the second and third effect of this card's name once per turn, only once that turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Synchro Monsters. Again, that shouldn't be too big of a problem in this archetype. Uh, if this card is normal or special summon, you can target one monster on the field, return it to the hand. Hmm. Interesting. Um, in my opinion, if I still read that first effect, so I don't know if I'm going to be using this that often, but you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one level five or higher Blackwing monster from your hand or deck, and take damage equal to its attack. So, you can use stuff like Foolish Burial if you really want to, to get this in the grave, but I will probably be using this thing in order to get it into the grave, and then popping off its graveyard effect, banishes from the grave, special summon level five or higher Blackwing monster, um, maybe another copy of this. I know there's a couple other options in the Blackwing deck, but the fact that you take damage equal to his attack, most of these are really damaging cards, like 700, 700. These all add up over time. So that's just something to think about. Um, next we got, um, Blackwing Assault Dragon. This art just looks baller. That is a dope card art. It's a level 10 Dark Dragon Synchro Effect Monster, 3200 attack, 2800 defense. Materials, one tuner Synchro Monster plus one non-tuner monsters. Must either be Synchro Summoned or Special Summoned by banishing one tuner Synchro Monster and one Black Wing Dragon from your field or graveyard. Interesting. So you want Black Wing Dragon in your graveyard. So all these cards that were dumping Black Wing Dragon in the grave, they're actually very useful. Nice. Each time uh, your opponent activates a monster effect, pace, place one black feather counter on this card, and if you do, inflict 700 damage to them. Nice. So it's very similar to um, I Masquerade the Blazing Dragon and the situation where it just, it just keeps placing, uh, it keeps giving them damage. So secondly, uh, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you contribute this card with four or more black feather counters. Destroy all cards on the field. Holy crap. It's a quick effect too. So I'm going to summon this thing very easily because I'm going to dump uh, one tuner synchro monster. We'll have to see if there is one of those. And then a Blackwing Dragon from my field to the graveyard. Um, and I'm going to summon this first turn. And then every time my opponent activates an effect, I'm going to use this thing. And then I can quick effect just nuke everything on the field if they have like a response or anything to any of my effects, which is pretty dope. Uh, next we got Blackwing, Boreas, the Evil Wind, a level 6 Dark Wing Beast, Synchro Tuner Effect, I called it, I called it, level 4, uh, sorry, attack 2400, defense 1200, uh, it takes 1 Dark Tuner plus 1 Non-Tuner Monster, so a little bit generic, actually I never even looked at this one, 1 Tuner Synchro Monster plus 1 Non-Tuner Monsters, I might try running this in my Red Dragon Archfiend deck, so we'll see if it works, I don't know if it will, but we'll see if it works. Next, um... This thing's effect is you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Nice. So if this card is synchro summon, you can send one Blackwing monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, this card's level becomes that monster's. So it's another way to send that level. Uh, the Where's that card? It's another way to send this thing to the grave if you really wanted to. But uh, there's other cards that have graveyard effects here. So you can send those to the grave as well. However, the level becomes that. So it's, level manipulation is also really, really good. Uh, in any archetype, really. Uh, when this card destroys a monster by battle, sends it to the graveyard, you can banish one Blackwing monster from your field, uh, face up on the field, or graveyard, special summon and destroyed monster to your field in defense position. Okay, so we got a little bit of uh, Goyo, Garden action, Goyo Guardian action here, which is not bad. Uh, next, Black Feather Whirlwind. Okay, I knew it, I knew it. Uh, continuous spell card. Once per turn, if you special summon a dark... Uh, a dark synchro monster monsters from the extra deck. You can target one of your Blackwing monsters or Blackwing dragon with a lower attack that is banished in your graveyard. Special summon it. Nice. The fact that you can just recycle stuff that's banished or in the grave is really, really good. I like this card already just based off that effect. Secondly, once per turn, if a dark monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can remove one black feather counter from your field instead. Protection. Interesting. For sure this is a three of. This has to be a three of. Plus the searcher. Where is it? Where is it? The searcher has to be a three of his will. That's pretty good. I like this card. Uh, what's next? Right here. So next we got Blackwing Twin Shadow. So um, it's a normal trap card, so you could be able to search it with Trap Trick if you really wanted to. 
Um, you can activate one card with this card's name per turn. If you control two or more Black Wing monsters, you can activate this card from your hand. Interesting. So it basically turns into like a hand trap. Return two of your Black Wing monsters that are banished and or in your graveyard to the deck and or extra deck. One tuner and one non-tuner. Special summon one Black Wing Synchro monster or one Black Wing dragon from your extra deck whose level exactly equals the total level of those monsters. This is treated as a Synchro summon. That's pretty good. I like that. So I could, if I really wanted to, uh, use... Where is it? Where is it? This thing's effect. I can dump uh, this plus a level 6, which is this right here, into the graveyard. Special summon my copy of uh, Black Winged Dragon. Um, and then after that, if I really wanted to, I could use my trap card from my hand. Which, I'm not sure how that works from the hand, guys. You you might have to help me out there. I don't know if you have to wait till your opponent's turn to use it straight from the hand, because it is a trap card. But, um, actually, now that I think about it, uh, it doesn't work that way to infinite permanence, right? So, just, it's just something to think about. Um, and then you can immediately use this thing to special summon another copy of Blackwing Dragon if you really wanted to. So, that's just interesting. Uh, next, we got... Black Shadow Squall. It's a counter trap card. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. So one, when a spell or trap card is activated, you can remove one black feather counter from your field and negate activation if you destroy that card. Nice, a negation trap. I've seen a lot of archetypes now coming with negation traps. Uh, I think I saw it the other day with Crystal Beast. And I think that's a great thing because you need as many negations as possible in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's pretty good. And secondly, if you control Blackwing Dragon, you can set this card from your graveyard to your field, but banish it when it leaves the field. It'll be very easy to control Blackwing Dragon, um, but you gotta wait. You can't use both of these on the same turn, right? So that's just something to think about. But these cards are all really, really dope. Makes me really want to try out Black Wings. This one's for Crow. Oh my god, I missed that guy. I remember the first time I was introduced to him, he was like stealing Yu-Gi-Oh cards from like the facility or whatever, right? And then he escaped on his motorbike, and that was that, or his dual. What, what do you call it again? His dual runner. That's what it was called. Um, but I just thought that was super dope. I just thought he was like the most badass character growing up. And um, anyways, guys, this is Plotter McCard signing out for the day. Glad to see Crow getting some love. Signing out for the day. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do, do, do.